As we discussed in Chapter 1, Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease where the hallmark features, bradykinesia and rigidity, are due to the loss of dopamine cells in the substantia nigra. First-line therapies for PD are focused on replacing the dopamine that is lost. This is done with three categories of treatment, exogenous dopamine, medications that mimic dopamine by turning on the dopamine receptor like an agonist, and medications that extend the life of endogenous dopamine by slowing down its breakdown. Unfortunately, dopamine does not cross the blood-brain barrier. However, levodopa, a precursor to dopamine, does. This drug is given by mouth, absorbed in the gut, and carried to the brain where it's broken down to dopamine and acts like endogenous dopamine in the basal ganglia. If levodopa is given alone, most of it will be broken down in the gut, where it can cause severe GI distress with nausea and vomiting. So it must be given in combination with an enzyme inhibitor, a dopa decarboxylase inhibitor, to prevent that. The most common preparations are carbidopa levodopa and benserazide levodopa. Both carbidopa and benserazide are equally effective in decreasing breakdown of levodopa by 70 to 80% in the gut and preventing peripheral side effects. Medications that mimic dopamine, or dopamine agonists, act by turning on the dopamine receptors in the brain. Essentially, they mimic what endogenous dopamine does. Drugs in this class include ergot dopamine agonists, bromocryptine, pergolide, capergoline, and lyceride, and non-ergot dopamine agonists, primapexol, rapinerol, rotigotine, and apomorphine. Dopamine is broken down by two enzymes, monoamine oxidase B, or MAOB, and catechol O-methyltransferase, or COMT. MAOB inhibitors, risagiline, selegiline, and safinamide, prevent levodopa breakdown in the CNS. Patients with early Parkinson's disease have less endogenous dopamine, so making it last longer with an MAOB inhibitor is an effective way to treat their symptoms. So which medication should you start when symptoms become bothersome? Of these three categories of drugs, carbidopa levodopa and dopamine agonists are the more effective ones. Since MAOB inhibitors are less effective, they should only be considered as monotherapy when Parkinson's disease motor symptoms are mild. When deciding between carbidopa levodopa and dopamine agonists, the decision is often based upon regional preference. There are multiple studies comparing these two classes of drugs, and long-term data suggests that whether patients are started with levodopa or a dopamine agonist, there is no difference in the quality of life. However, there are a few points that patients should know when deciding. Patients treated with carbidopa levodopa first have better control of their motor symptoms. Patients treated with carbidopa levodopa first have earlier motor complications. That includes dyskinesias and motor fluctuations. Patients treated with dopamine agonists first had more side effects, including daytime sleepiness, lower extremity swelling, and impulse control issues. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.